Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today I thought I would try a couple new ABH products. I actually picked up the new palette. This is the, um, what are we calling this, Nouveau? I think it's Art Nouveau, is the color story. And then I also picked up one of her cream blushes because I didn't have one and I was ordering things so I figured I might as well try that too. So we're gonna start with this cream blush here and I thought that the color would actually be very pretty with the, um, the palette. So that's the, sh what a color did I get? Peachy Keen. I got shade Peachy Keen. It does have a brush on one side and a the actual cream product on the other. I do have a little bit of kind of like bronzery, contrary type stuff that was from the J-Cat Masterclass. So I had that on already. Let's just use the brush. I don't typically like these brushes and Thrive Beauty also has the same kind of a brush product and I think that there's a few other ones that do too. Maybe Mario? I don't know. Makeup by Mario? I'm not really sure. I'm not really paying attention. I gotta be honest, I don't usually use them. I've had a couple of them like pop up in products before but I figured since for the purpose of this video, we'd actually, you know, use the product that <laughs> came came together. And you know what? If we have to go back over it with a little bit more later on, we certainly can. But I like that color. Yeah, peachy keen. So not too orange, not too coral, not too pink. Just right. Okay, you guys. The palette. The eyeshadow palette. Art Nouveau. It's a new ABH palette. I think it's slightly different than some of the other, some other palettes that have come out with before. Especially not like the big Novena palettes. The thing that I think appealed to me both most about this palette, if you look at this, let's actually take a look at the palette. By the way, no brush in there. It does come with a mirror. This palette, I wasn't going to buy it at first because some of the promotional photos it looked so washed out. And I was like, I don't need another like Urban Decay Naked palette. I don't need something that looks washed out and boring and chalky. And uh, that wasn't interesting to me at all. But then the more I saw it, the more I thought... Doesn't that look like something else we know? Let's take a walk in the, in the Wayback Machine here. This is the Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. Five shades, kind of like these, kind of warmer apricot colors, and then some greens, dusty green. So everybody fell in love with this, myself included. I love this palette. So when she came out with her retro midi palette, that looks nothing like this. I mean, there's, I guess, kind of some apricot -y colors, there's no greens. There's nothing about this palette that looks like this inspired by it. I think what happened was Anastasia said, hey, we love the midi. We love the mini retro. Let's give you the midi that you w actually wanted. Doesn't that look familiar? This looks to be exactly like what we wanted. So you guys want me to come back and do a, a dupe video on it? Let me know. I'd be happy to. I'm probably going to anyway, but whether I do it on camera is a, a different conversation. All right, you guys. So this palette came out a little while ago. I don't get anything early. I don't, I'm not on anybody's PR list. I'm not affiliated with Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I get nothing earlier than anybody else. You can literally go out and buy this right now. What I always like to do with a palette is make sure it works for my lifestyle. I'm a lady of a certain age. I have a corporate job. Um, I do travel. I do like to do fun kind of date night looks with my husband. And so when I look at a palette, I always look, I kind of run it through the filter of can I get looks that go with my lifestyle. Can I get a work look? Can I get a fun kind of daytime look? Can I get something more smoky and sultry and date night? And if I can, then uh, then I can decide whether or not it fits with my budget and is a good value. So I have seen a couple people's videos and the videos that I've seen other YouTubers do so far, it's like they want to put every damn shade on their eyeball at the same time. And I don't do that. I don't do that for a variety of reasons. One, I don't ever have the amount of time it takes to be that creative and that artistic. And and two, especially if I'm looking for an out the door to go to work or usually I'm just in a hurry. Let's we'll put it that way. So if I'm in a hurry, if I look at, if I put this in my lifestyle, is this gonna give me what I need? Now, I gotta disclaim it here because I see some people doing it, some people don't. There are three shades in this that are apparently not suitable for eyelids the bone shade in here want want this wisteria shade it's not really called bone it's called uh paloma so paloma bone in my my mind this wisteria shade it does look like wisteria to me and then this shade right here which is called metro i think those are the three shades you're not supposed to put on your eyes that is exactly the reason why I didn't buy the Primrose palette because there were so many shades in the palette that was like not suitable for eyes now can you still do it use at your own risk, I guess. I don't know what the, what the deal is. I mean, are, is it because of a certain, you know, certain ingredient in there? Hold on, let me 
me see if I can figure this out. An all-in-one palette for instant effortless look from on the go to ultra glam. Pressed pigment for face and body. Wisteria, Metro, and Paloma. Not intended for use around the immediate eye area. So I guess maybe they're supposed to be face face products. Maybe this is supposed to be a pressed powder. Maybe this is supposed to be a blush. I don't know where on your face you would put purple. I don't get it. We're going to do some looks here. I'm I'm going to be mindful of the fact that I'm not supposed to be putting some of these things on my eyes. We'll just have to see if I, I suspect those are going to, they're going to work their way into my eyeshadow look. Now I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't have gotten primrose <laughs> because of it. Okay, you guys, here's what I want to do. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put some lips on because I don't like looking at without lips. Uh, I'm going to put some lips on really fast and then I'm going to do a date. I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do a work look on one eye. I'm going to try to do a fun daytime look on an eye, and then I'm going to take it off. We're going to come back and do a third and final look, which is going to be my evening look, date night look, which is what I'll be wearing for the rest of the evening. For me, it is a Friday, and my husband's band is playing. We've got kind of a big event, actually. So we're going to go... I'm going to go do that, and I want something that's going to be, you know, lead singer, the band, wife, appropriate. I don't even know if that's on. It's hard. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look like I belong to the lead singer. I had so many people ask me. So there's another guitarist in the group, and he's, I'm not going to say he's 20 years younger than me, but he's significantly younger than me, and so many people think that he's my husband, which is weird because I hardly even talk to him. So maybe that's why they think that I don't, because I don't talk to him. That, I mean, I kind of do, but I try not to too much. Anyway, I don't know if he, if they think that because I'm, I don't, not super chatty with him, they think that he is my husband or not. It's weird when I think back on it, I'm like, the other two guys, I'm giving them band-aids and I'm making sure they have water and stuff like that. And this guy, it's like, he's just kid, he's fine. He's on his own. <laughs> I noticed looking in the mirror that my skin is looking very extra dewy. And I think part of it is because I started with some Jones Road What the Foundation. Very emollient. Put an ABH foundation at the top of it since I knew I was going to be doing an ABH video. And my skin was looking ridiculously, oh. You know, if you guys have never tried the RCMA face powder, it fixes everything for me, I'm finding. All right. I do feel like that blush might be a little light and I might need to go darker. Let's get into a work look, shall we? So if I'm looking at this, and, and again, I've got kind of a corporate job. If I'm looking at this and saying, okay, I've got to go to work. What am I going to use on my eyelids? I'm probably going to go with Fleur all over my lid. I do have a little bit of uh, Gerard Cosmetic Clean Canvas Eye Base on. I haven't used it in a while on camera, and I didn't want to mess up with the eyeshadow. I wanted to try it with an actual eyeshadow primer. If I'm going to work, I think it depends. If I'm, Do I have an all-day of, of meetings, or am I going to be in an office setting, you know, where I could touch my makeup if I needed to. It kind of just depends on how much effort I put into <clears throat> put into actually having an eyelid primer on. Sometimes when I'm just in a hurry and I'm out the door, it's like one, one shade and done. Not unlike this, actually. I mean, I would do something like this for either glasses day or for work. I pretty much just went all over my lid and up above my crease, and then I went back into the crease area and just built it up just a little tiny bit. Yeah, that's a pretty shade. It's subtle. It feels like, you know, the minimalist amount of eyeshadow color that I would do because... I feel like I need a darker eyeshadow for work. I'm going to go into this shade that is not the one you're supposed to put on your eyes. I don't really have a neutral brown, which is what I would normally do for work look, but I could see doing a little bit of a warmer look. I'm going to use the actual mirror that came ABH palette, try and cross my desk. The palette itself is kind of textured and the colors do seem to be blending in. I'm not quite sure. Maybe this, I got a little bit of patchiness, but it's not horrible. And if you guys have been around here, you know, I don't do super crazy looks normally anyway. I like a monochromatic look. I'm going to go into Lily, which is this, it's kind of like a, I mean, it's kind of tripping me out because it's got a bunch of different colors in it. Very creamy. And I'm just going to tap it right on the removable lid. I don't normally do too shimmery uh, eyeshadow looks for work, but because this is kind of a subtle color, I thought, why not? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly how I would use that for work. I use the darker shade Metro to kind of deepen up just a little bit on the outside and then just blended it really well, or at least as well as I can into Fleur, which was my transition shade. And then I went over all the lid with Lily and I'm totally digging that. I would absolutely wear that for work. Let me put some eyeliner on really fast and some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay. There's look number one, my work look. Yeah, I would absolutely wear this to work. It feels age appropriate. It feels like I'm not trying too hard. It feels like, yeah, it feels like I'm not trying too hard. I like it. 
yeah, I would absolutely wear that for work. Again, the looks that I've seen everybody else do, it seems like, man, they, they look beautiful and they can be super creative, but is that real? Is that real life? I don't know, not for me. Let's do something a little bit more fun for daytime. I'm gonna start in my crease with Liberty. Love the shade. It, I love, love, love Gren Grungy Green. Kinda like my jam. And in case I didn't say earlier, I think I'm using all rougher brushes today because I bought them. <laughs> So because I bought them, I'm going to actually try to use them. I'm going to, I'm not going to say that I'm going to exclusively use them for filming because I, after I do a day of filming, I do tend to wash all of them. They're dried and ready for the next time. But if I film on a day that, you know, the good brushes are being washed, you'll see me out here with, uh, maybe not, not my first choice in brushes. You know, you might see me with some Morphe or some ColourPop brushes. Okay. That shade is very, very pretty. I like that a lot. And I think it ended up working okay as a transition shade too, because because it shared out enough. It gives me that kind of smoky, kind of darker look. Yeah, I really like it. I kind of want to build it up, but I have a lot of choices here of shades that I want to use. I think I'm going to try pairing it right here with this one right next to it, which is called Belle. And I'm going to go all over my lid. Wow, that has a beautiful olive green gold shift to it. Super pretty. Again, we're trying to do kind of like a daytime fun look. I have to remind myself that we're doing a daytime fun look because I, you know, I'm like, oh, and I want to do that color, and I want to do that color, and I want to do that color. Okay, I'm going to grab Isle, which is right next to it. It's kind of like this gold shade right here. We're going to put that in the center and then I'm going to just kind of pat it in green gold. Yeah, I like that a lot. Wow. I didn't pick up any more product. I'm just kind of buff matte. Actually, maybe I'll grab a little I'm trying to keep it concentrated, but then um, see, I feel like I've already gone <laughs> too, too smoky maybe for daytime, but yeah, that's kind of fun. It's not too heavy. Uh, it's pretty. It's light. I'm going to take a little bit more of it down below. I probably should have put a little bit more sealer on down there, but I didn't. And this brush is a little bit bigger than I needed to for down underneath my eyes. Okay. Now I'm going to take the uh, another one of the shades that you're not supposed to use on your eyes. I'm going to take Wisteria, this one right here, beneath my eye. Yeah, keep it out of your immediate eye area. And then what shall I do? Immediately put immediate eye area. I think I heard some people having a, were challenged by that shade because they didn't really know what to do with it. It doesn't really seem to jump out and lean towards any of the other shades immediately. Like you're not going to look at it and go, oh yeah, that belongs with whatever. I just don't, I don't feel like you're getting that. And I don't know that putting it under my eye was the right thing to do either. Let's do a little tiny quick cleanup underneath there and then um, I'll throw on some mascara. Okay, you guys, there's my daytime, a little bit more approachable, fun. I'm going to call this slightly more effervescent. It's maybe slightly more pastel-y than what I'm used to. Again, this is my daytime look on this side. And I think that the, the little bit of lavender underneath is actually a really nice touch. I think it's actually very pretty. This is completely work appropriate for me. I see zero issue. I don't think I would get side-eyed at all <laughs> wearing this for work. This is actually kind of fun and pretty and it wasn't too challenging. I mean, I literally did four shadows, right? I did Wisteria underneath. I did Belle all over the lid. I did Liberty in the crease and Isle just right here in the center. Super easy. Yeah, super easy. Okay, let's come back and, and I have not used one, two, three. I have not used four shades and they might actually work for a final look. So give me a second to clean this off. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. A little bit cleaned up here. I, I will still fix the fix the blush situation. I didn't use the Clean Canvas Eye Base because I frankly I feel like the colors didn't really pop like they would normally. So I think they were just muted muted shades. So I actually just used the Tatcha uh, Pearl Eye Brightener just underneath and on top a little bit because I feel it was feeling a little dark. Speaking of dark, let's get into let's get into a day night look, shall we? This might be the one that I do more than I need to. I'm going to start with Fleur, which is the this shade right here. I don't even know what color to call that. Tannish rosewood maybe, and that's going to be my high pre or high transition shade. This is the one shade that's going to probably be a little bit more effort. And not a ton because I don't do looks that are that are too too intensive. I think that's one of the things that you like about me because who's got time to sit there and do a minuscule amount with a super tiny brush with different shades? I certainly don't. I just want to look appropriate, you know, like I don't want to look like, oh wow, she's got all the time in the world to do too much eyeshadow, but I want to look pretty. I don't even know if that's possible anymore. I think so. Okay. So I've taken that probably over more real estate than I wanted to, but frankly, I've got a bigger brush than I expected to use too. So that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. I washed my hair today. Super proud of that. Okay. So I've got that. And then I'm going to take, uh, where's my smaller brush? I'm going to take smaller brush, clean off just a little bit here. I'm going to go back into Liberty and we're going to put that a little bit of that in 
the crease because I want my eyes to look like a little bit more dimension than they actually do. You know, it's funny because I, I wonder about that light Paloma shade. If it's not supposed to be used on, on your near your eye area, then obviously you're not using it to set, you know, powders underneath your concealer underneath your eye. I just don't get it. It seems just so strange. It's got to have like talc or something in it because usually you would think if something's going to stain your eye, you might not want to use it. But with that, it's like, okay, it's not going to stain your eye, right? So there's going to be something that you're not supposed to get into your eye. I don't know. It's weird. If you guys have any insight into that, would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I've got three shades that I really want to use. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... I think I'm going to take Peacock right here. That's going to be the color that's going to go over most of my lid. It's a blue, green, shifty color. And I'm putting it over like this. Hi Zeus. I'm putting it over this. And then I'm going to put another color on the outside. It's gorgeous. It's just super smoky, grungy, beautiful. Peacock, sure. Yeah, I get Peacock from it. Blend into that green a little bit. And it's funny because as soon as I started blending that peacock shade. I got a darker brown. Interesting case. I'm look I keep looking down to make sure I got the right, right brush. And, yep, I got the right brush. So it just happened to, I think once that green shimmer lifted off a little bit, I think it, it went as a, a dark brown base. Don't get me wrong. I'm liking it. Just not really what I was expecting. Okay. So let's take it over here again. Yeah. It's definitely like a blue suspended over a brown, if that makes sense. There's several shades that I've seen in eyeshadow palettes that are like this, but I don't think I've seen this from ABH before. I don't have every palette she's ever put out. Frankly, I was getting kind of, I don't know, I was feeling sort of uninspired. Like I looked at Primrose and I went, okay, Color Store is pretty. I can see getting some use out of it, but I think with it being like, okay, well, half, half a dozen shades on it are not meant to be used on your eyes. I was like, mmm, it's an eyeshadow palette. I mean, yeah, it had a black in it but I was like mmm I'm not I'm not feeling buying an eyeshadow palette and then not being able to use it on my eyes just seemed like it was kind of a feels like it was kind of a waste okay I am loving that shade muse which is the darkest shade in here this is kind of a satin shade it's not really a um, it's not really a shimmer it doesn't have too much shine but just a little bit so I'm gonna use that out here smudge out this last section here and hopefully it'll blend well into and as I had heard I had heard that this was an issue I have I now have transferred down here. That's okay. I, I mean, it cleans up, but if you don't do your, if you do your makeup first, like I often do, and then come in and do your eyeshadow, that can leave. And I see that as I'm blending anything, you know, trying to blend it all, it's definitely taking that darker shade and going all over my lid. So I would say that with that shade, it's like a great dark shade in here, but a little goes a long way. So part of our Friday night festivities is going to be, well, it's all going to require me being out in natural daylight just because it's summer and it's not getting dark early quite yet. So I'm a little concerned that this might be too dark. I'm going to have to lighten it up a little bit. I don't want it to seem scary. <laughs> that's not the point. I don't want to seem like, oh, that's the lead singer's wife and she's got too much makeup on. That's not kind of the look I'm going for. I think I'm going to need a clean brush here. I'm trying to blend these shades in. I, I like the fact that I have the dimension. Here's a clean brush. I'm just not feeling like, I just feeling a little overwhelmed by the, the shade right now. I love that peacock color. I was, I'm, I've now done what I said I wasn't going to do, which is like, oh yeah, let's put on every shade in the palette. I don't really want to do that. Okay, we're getting there. Honestly, it's hard. I have a hard time right now telling where one ended and one begins. I'm going to go back into Fleur, which is the lighter pink shade here at the top again, just to get a gradient look. You guys, I just had a thought that some of these shades, especially like that wisteria color and some of these green, and honestly, this peacock shade are giving me kind of Mel Thompson, Tiny Marvels vibe. I, it could be that I just have her on the brain. I've been thinking about her a lot lately. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm going to take wings, which is this kind of, it's almost like a seafoam green. And we're going to take a little of that right on the center of that lid. Yeah. I'm going to blend it out here in just a second, but I wanted to get it right on the center, which gives your eye that kind of roundness, but it's also a great way to lighten up and heavy. Yeah. That, what shade is that? Wings. Wings is exactly what it to be. Yay. Okay. It's coming together, you guys. My little date night, uh, date night experiments and just come home. I have to go run the dogs out to the kennel. I'm going to go back into this black eyeliner here on the outside again. And I'm really loving the way all these shades kind of blended together. I was a little concerned that it was going to look too 
bruise like at first what's it gonna look like up close if someone comes out to me and, and now and I guess it's one of those things where if they don't know that I have a YouTube channel maybe it's about time they've learned <laughs> okay I'm just smudging a coal liner into my lash line this is actually one from Jones Road and uh, you'll see a video soon with Jones Road a bunch of Jones Road products that I'm trying I'm actually really really liking this I think that lighter shade really helped to kind of lighten it just a little bit and not make it too heavy I wanted there's another shade in here I haven't tried yet and it's the one called Hope and I want to use that and maybe I'm scared to use Muse but I'm going to use a little Muse which is the one that seems to make a mess I'm going to use a little bit of that just down here and then I'm going to go over it and catch it with a little Pope as well. Yeah, so Muse kind of makes a little bit of a mess. A little goes a long way. I don't know why these other shades are considered not safe for eyes. I, I put them on just briefly. I didn't have them on all day. So I don't know what to tell you about those. I guess use at your own risk. If that makes a huge difference for you in whether or not you purchase a, a palette. I'm not associated with these guys, ABH. They've never reached out to me and said, hey, let's send you anything. They've never sent me anything. I have purchased everything that I own with ABH with my own bunny. Oh, wow, really pretty. So I think I've got two standout shades in this palette. I'm just taking that Hope shade, which is kind of like this green gold, and I'm smudging it in all under my lash line, which is really brightening it up. The shade called Hope and the shade called Belle, and I'm gonna go and say Peacock are my favorite shades. I'm gonna put back to Peacock on. Kind of a little bit of a halo eye because I had Peacock pretty much all over my lid, and then I put um wings right in the center so it ended up being a little bit of a, a halo look uh, i've got a lot i've got a lot of eyeshadow on right now or at least a lot of colors and i actually kind of like it i'm gonna put some mascara on really fast and we'll clean up finish up get out the door all right you guys i've got mascara on i did a little bit more uh eyeliner just in my waterline i'm gonna grab uh, actually this paloma shade i'm gonna take a little bit of that just up here to kind of clean up right against my brow bone i don't know if that's still considered immediate eye area <laughs> i think i may be stretching it just a little bit but i think i wanted to kind of light that up a little bit without going shiny in like a highlighter type look yeah this looks a little bit more clean that i mean the all attention is absolutely 100 gonna be on my eyes night Let's just hope my eyes don't start watering. So that likes to happen. So leave me a comment, you guys. Tell me, do you did you find that this palette called to you? Were you just excited about it because it was a new ABH launch or launch? That sounded like I said lunch. Or were you just like me where initially it was like, oh, well, I'm not really feeling it. As soon as I started thinking this looked like a grown up bigger version of retro, I was all over it. That, that's what was the deciding factor for me. This is not a washed out pastel look. There's nothing about this that seems like it's as pastel, chalky, non-existent as I was kind of concerned. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this on. I'm not gonna use that brush though. Not really the brush I wanted to use, but I'm gonna take um, some more of this ABH blush and touch it up a little bit more here. I can't just leave well enough alone to blush. I feel like I've always gotta put on more and more and more, and especially if I don't do a lot of bronzer, but this seems to be going on really well. Is this a Sigma brush? Yeah, it's a Sigma brush. I didn't buy a good rougher brush that was good for putties and firmer creams, although this this doesn't seem particularly firm. This seems pretty light. I feel like I got the blush where I need to be. It's not a super saturated color. I actually like it. So Peachy Keen. Peachy Keen is a blush and I think it actually works really well with um, with the eyeshadow. Maybe not this particular look, but the eyeshadow palette in general. So I'm going to grab just a gloss. Yeah, this is just one of those it's milky whatever NYX glosses. I, I just put on a lot of setting spray. Let me dry this down. I might need a little bit more setting powder. So let me finish this off here. I'm just going to put on a little bit more setting powder, I think, to make sure I don't have any shine since I'm going to be outside. And this is going to be my date night look for this ABH uh, Nouveau palette. Nouveau, not new, but like Nouveau art. If you look at it, this kind of goes along with the same sort of art vibe. And this, this is absolutely a shelly, dark, smoky date night look that I would do. I hope you guys found this interesting, maybe a little bit different than some other people's take on it. I've seen videos where people are doing multiple looks, but I didn't see anybody say, okay, this is a work look. <laughs> and that's always kind of like my first thing. It's like, if I can't get a work look out of it, then 
do I, do I need it? Because I like to know that I can get multiple looks from the same palette. Sometimes you get a palette that is meant to be your inspiration. It's meant to be the accent palette. And I get that. And I have those palettes too. For me personally, I really like to be able to look at a palette and know that I can get multiple looks from it. It's going to be a good value for my money. So I think this is actually a super cute palette. Some of the shades did come across as very light washed, um, but not chalky. So keep that in mind and maybe look for sale. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well. And until my next video, bye for now.